All right, we are talking about the trigger stick today. Uh, this one in particular is going to be the short one. Here's the height measurements. You have minimum, max, 18 inches, 38. Um, on max height, for me, I'm 5'11". Uh, just to give you an idea. Um, max height, I'd probably be able to to take a shot kind of uh, on, on one knee. Uh, but any higher than that, um, I'm un unable to use it. I then have to try and go to the the tall set that they have, uh, which I also do have. But this one is still still in the packaging, so I'm just gonna run through that real fast. Also, this is the gun rest that you are able to purchase separately. I believe this uh, is on sale currently running i don't know somewhere in the 30s um it's it's kind of half and half i mean you got uh aluminum uh, aluminum bars and then most of all your other attachments are going to be plastic um th there's not really there's not yeah there's not any flex to it whatsoever it does come with the attachment for the trigger sticks uh, and I'll also run through how those attachments work as well all right so right out of the packaging uh, one thing uh, this little discrepancy was like tucked right up in here which I'm sure most people don't even throw it away uh, but I I would definitely make a note of this uh, for all the bad reviews that you see, you got one year manufacturer warranty, uh, parts materials, um, and at the very top, don't use it as a walking stick. I, I think that most of the bad reviews are due to people um, like mounting their rifle to it and then putting all their weight into that rifle. Uh, and as, I mean, as you can see, 35 pound weight limit. So, you know, a 180-pound guy, you know, putting, you know, leaning into it with all his weight, I don't know, maybe pulling down on it. Uh, everybody has their own little configurations on how they shoot. Um, but I, I would definitely keep that in mind. Don't use it as a walking stick because more than likely if you do and you put more than 35 pounds on it, you'll more than likely break that locking mechanism. So as soon as you get down and you're sitting um, and you have your gun on there, you know, it might start, you know, closing up on you. So I, I would definitely keep that in mind. Um, I'd, I wouldn't say baby it, but, you know, if you pay money for it, I'd, I would baby it. Um, the, the tall set of uh, the trigger stick, I've somewhat babied it. Um, I mean, I've used it standing. My sons use it standing. You know, most I do is if I hold it and I have the, the rifle in there, I have my dominant hand on the rifle and then I have my off hand here or I might cover the top of my rifle like so. So just keep that, uh, that portion in mind as well. Um, let's see if I can go through swapping out the attachments. All right, so right here, it's a, like a safety. All right, so red for fire, I believe. Let me see if I can tuck my leg. This isn't a tabletop review. It's a laptop review. Let's see. If I remember correctly... Oh, yeah, okay. I apologize. Okay, so red means fire. Good to go. Switch, switch around to the other side. And then that's your push tab. You can kind of see it move there. And I don't think... I can't tell if that's a crack on it. Kind of feels like where the it's a lip of where they did the camo. I'll keep an eye on it, but 
you know, as long as it ain't a crack, I'm not going to fuss over a little line in the camo because it's going to be behind a blind anyway. All right, so, so, let's see, we match side up. All right, so flat side to flat side, and the button opens it up. So we're going to set it over it, like so. All right, and then drop that, come over here. If we lock it, see, that's, that's all it does. It's just a little stopper stop it from opening up um, and then also in the package came one for like optics or camera um, I have a an arca rail attachment um, and I have an arca rail on my son's rifle as well and so I, I essentially I told the wife I need another one I didn't really need another one I only really needed one of these because I misplaced it but seeing as how we're going to be sitting down, uh, it's kind of a win-win to go ahead and get the short one. Uh, so, like I said, flat side matches up with flat side. Get that grass off there. Well, it'll be okay. Let's see, flat side to flat side. And there we go. So, yeah, okay, so that's what I thought. So, I would definitely recommend you always make sure that it won't open. Because, like, let's say you have your your trigger stick out, you have your optic on it, and you're holding it, and with your right hand, you push it forward. Let's see, if it is open... You know, you're, you're leaning into it like a spotting scope. You know, you can have the potential to pop it out. And, you know, last thing you want to be is on the side of a mountain and pop. So, that would suck. All right, so this guy, I didn't really need it. Like like most, most people, you don't really need another gun. It's always nice to have one. Uh, but... What I was doing was I was using a trigger stick and a secondary tripod whenever I'm uh, bore sighting. And so I was like, you know, on the off chance, you know, might as well have it. Doesn't take up that much room anyway. So I'm going to have to bear with me, guys. I Once I get this house done and built, I'll have uh, my old gun table back and... We should be good to go on it. There we go. Hey, at least I got it down. Just, just to get in, push back. Kind of a quick disconnect there. Alright. Oh, man. So, if I would have known that it came with your uh, optic piece and the top, I could have just bought this thing. So... Let's see if it'll catch it. Nope. Here, let me pause it and hand tighten it back. All right, so there she is in all her glory, just hand tightened as of right now. Um, so for those of you that don't know uh, if you're having an issue with it being loose, there is a... Let's see if I can pop this out pop it back and there's a little screw right there to tighten uh, to tighten the screw so I apologize again guys I know I myself dislike videos that kind of jostle around a lot so again apologies 
All right, so before I get onto this, since the video is mainly about the trigger stick, that's probably, let's see, so it says minimum height on it. So, it comes to the top of my, it comes to the bottom of my pants pocket. So, and I wear a 36-30. So, give or take that, what you will. Um, you know, maybe a foot down. So, if I wear a 30 leg, uh, it's probably 28, 29. I think that minimum tag got ripped that was in here so I'm not gonna fool around trying to let's see so yeah so about 28 mark and then so as the name implies, trigger stick. Pull the trigger. And it does widen up. So, you know, for those of you that aren't fully in depth in geometry or, well, if you don't know your triangles, you probably don't really know MOA. You probably just side it into zero and good to go. So, uh, on the up, you're good. The only issue is, is when you come down, if you're in the grass, those feet grab. And so it does not want to come back in because your legs are trying to shorten the distance. So let's see if I can get it back down. All right. So to give you an idea, I'm going to mark that guy and that guy so all the way up I'm coming straight up so that's about the same distance so about four inches and all the reason why I'm showing you this is you know if you have size limitations within your blind uh, you know if you're opting between a tripod or like a, a bipod or a dual leg style, um, if you're limited on space, I'd probably just say get the double double leg or the bipod. Um, but all in all, we're essentially going to be hunting behind a blind. So, all right, so I believe, I apologize if I'm incorrect in saying this, but that should be the entirety of the trigger stick. Uh, let's see. This comes with it. And no, that will not work for an optic. You have to have that piece for an optic. And then now on to the rest for those of you that might be interested. You can push down on here and you can essentially close it up. So, so if you had this farther back Further back, it would close flush. So you're able to close these down, pull it up, locks in place, and then right, righty tighty, as most people say, lowers both front and back. And then once you find the right height, you screw that guy up and it locks it into place. And then, 
let's see, to get your distance, there's a lock tab here, slide back, slide forward. And same spot on this side. I believe, yeah, there we go. So, a kid's rifle, you know, shoulder end and the barrel end or all the way out. Um, so far, I've, I've tried it on two or three of my rifles, and it works pretty good. Um, you know, of course, have that tightened up, and you won't have any of that wobble. And then this guy, loosen that up just a little bit, and that gives you some X and Y which I actually kind of prefer having it loose so that if for some reason that you're varmiting, you could have it loose and there are small areas if you wanted a Velcro, you could have a small strip of Velcro go through, wrap around and Velcro on the other side. Uh, another thing that I've done before just to, whenever I'm practicing with the kiddos, but other than that, um, hopefully this has helped somebody. Um, there's not that many uh, videos on the hunting sticks, or at least from what I've been able to see. Um, and only reason why I get it is because, you know, I got my son, daughter, wife, and if we're all shooting, then, you know, you, you run into... Um, you know, having to having to pop the legs and then adjust it to whoever's height and let them shoot and then, you know, readjust the legs. Whereas this, you know, son, bring it up a little, daughter, bring it up, you know, me. So, in my opinion, it, it gives you a little bit more bang for the buck and it gives you a little bit more opportunities you know, it could be, you know, you're sitting down, very limited movement. Uh, you know, deer comes in or fox or coyote. And, you know, you could be way, way down here. And then, you know, you're, let, let's say I'm aiming way to the back on the edge of the field. And let's say one comes out right here. You know, well, I'm able to get the X and Y, but see if I'm aiming up like this and I bring it down, well, now my butt stock is up in the air. So then that would give me the opportunity to hit the trigger, shrink it down, and then be able to aim. Which, I mean, keep in mind, you know, your offhand trigger would be like this. butt stock here and you know 223 maybe 308 you can easily one hand it with it resting completely on there and you know so you're aiming here you're dropped down and you fire and then now you see one over there you can pull the trigger keep that rifle shouldered you can bring it up and take your shot and then you can also adjust back this way. You know, it's, it's give or take. You know, everybody says, oh, you don't need that. You can do this or you can do that. Um, but it's what works for me. And seeing as how a bunch of your other trigger style sticks are, you know, 90, 80, 90 bucks. You know, I, I like the fact that you know, I can have multiple attachments. I can leave one on an optic and, you know, leave another attachment for the rifle. And so I can have the rifle in a sling and then, 
you know, take it off my back, click it in, fire. You know, the, in my opinion, the trigger stick gives a little bit more bang for the buck in terms of what all you're able to do with it. But, guys, if this helped you, let me know. 20 minutes on a single trigger stick is outrageous. If somehow you've made it to the end, thank you. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Um, you know, let me know if you've had issues with the trigger stick. I, I haven't. Uh, although, you know, I've only been on maybe 10, 10 to 11 hunts with the tall trigger stick that I have. Uh, but other than that, y'all, I, I would recommend it. And if it works for you, then, you know, again, just let me know. All right.